I'm Mary Beth Hughes here at Robinson Hill Stadium after the Choctaws defeated their crosstown rival Bellhaven 42-21. The Choctaws were down one touchdown at the half, but ended up shutting out Bellhaven for the second half. Let's check out the highlights. Davon, you and the offensive line really created holes and gave the quarterbacks and running backs opportunities tonight. How did you make it happen? I mean, we just came together as an offensive unit. I mean, we came together 10 feet. We moved the ball every 10 yards and got those first downs. And like uh, Dave just told me, we rushed for like 500 on the dot, and that's just how we work. We just get things moving. Is this what you expected defensively from Bellhaven tonight? Yes, we expected it all week long. We practiced for it. And we were ready when we came out here. We had it all figured out, had a few kinks in the beginning, but we smoothed it all out in the second half. Well, you hung with the number 13 team last week at UNA, and then this week you beat your crosstown rival. How are you going to keep this momentum going into next week? We just got to stay positive, and we got to keep a, keep our heads focused, and, you know, keep moving on this path we're moving on. We're a good team. We just got to keep doing what we know we can do. Coach, obviously Bellhaven was an air raid team tonight, but they threw some running in at you in the first half. How did you adjust? Well, Coach Collins did a great job. It took us a little while because they moved the ball extremely well in the first half and, and uh, very difficult to stop. That offense is, is known across the nation. It's, it's not easy to defend, and they threw and caught the ball really well, and they were able to run the ball because of our defense set up the way it was. So we made our adjustments, and it showed in the second half. You rushed for 500 yards tonight and didn't give up one point in the, in the second half. What did you tell your players at halftime? We needed to score more and stop them. No, <laughs> but anyway, we, you know, some of the things we were doing in the first half were working. It was just uh, a lot of penalties, and we needed to stop getting penalized, which that didn't happen. We still had some penalties, which I'm disappointed in. I'd like to see some of them. Um, but 
we were able to make big plays and run the ball effectively, and that's what we stuck with. We wanted to move that clock and try to keep them off the field as much as possible on offense, so that's what we did, and I think our players executed the plan almost to perfection. We had a fumble on about the one-yard line, and we had to score another one. Uh, we had several touchdowns called back, so uh, there's no telling what we could have done without some of the mistakes. How is this win going to prepare you for next week on the road at McNeese? Well, McNeese State is obviously a very good football team. They're a division above us, 1AA or FCS, and they'll be big and fast and, and strong, and they're going to be powerful. We're going to have to do some things that's slightly different. We'll have to keep the ball away from them, make first downs, and, and really be ready to go the long, hard way, but also take advantage of any mistakes they make to get big plays. So we'll have to do an awful lot of things like that, but uh, just play solid football. I think it can get just, just better this week. Not only did the Choctaw defense shut down Bellhaven tonight, but the offense was explosive and they rushed for 500 yards. Next week, the Choctaws travel to a Division I team, McNeese State, in Lake Charles, Louisiana.